This is Leona Price, she's 32 years old and lives in Merthyr Tydfil, earning £24,000 a year. This is Tom, he's 21 years old and lives in Manchester, earning over £300,000 a year. So what is it that they both do? Well, Leona works five days a week as a librarian, sometimes even on weekends, doing her best to give out books to the general public. Tom meanwhile, well, he... Say hi to the internet! Say hi! Well, he makes videos and posts them to YouTube. So why is it that these two salaries are so incredibly different? Well, we go on a journey to find out why. The idea of people earning such extreme amounts over something as simple as making videos on YouTube seems crazy, so how is that even possible? To answer this question, we start our journey by travelling to Leeds, not only the birthplace of Marks and Spencers, but also home to Joshua Bell, a popular content creator for YouTube. The thing is, most people don't know him as Joshua Bell, but rather Rage Gaming Videos, a director for the Machinima Network with over 300,000 subscribers and a total of 75 million total video views. That's over 20 times the population of Wales. Hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all as we find out if Tales from the Borderlands is indeed worth the price. So, how did Josh go from a normal student to a YouTube persona with hundreds and thousands of fans? Fortunately, Josh was able to speak with us and tell us why. Me and my friend were heavily into WoW back in the day, and he began making videos just to show people the kind of adventures we'd go on. I was like, ah, I remember that because, you know, I was there. So I decided to also give it a go because in classic copycat action, but then it turned out I had quite the affinity for it and started doing it a lot better than... He did, if I do say so myself. It's definitely my main focus at the moment and something I'd call my career. The only problem with it is that, technically speaking, it all revolves around the existence of a website. So if anything should happen to it, it's you, there's nothing you can do. It's, you lose your job straight away. You learn how to make a product from start to finish. You learn work ethic, because after all, you don't have a boss when you're YouTube. You have to keep doing it. Only you will make you continue to produce content. So you do build a really good sort of mentality and framework for actually getting stuff done. I think YouTube is strictly a hobby turned profession. You can't skip the hobby part. It's fine to decide, yeah, I want to make videos, that looks fun, but you can't really just decide you want that to be your career. So the YouTube lifestyle seems great. Almost took it to be true, right? Well, Josh doesn't do it alone. He works with a few friends who don't necessarily feel the same way. Hey, welcome to Fluke's Discount Cruporium. You can get all these bargains and deals and discounts for you, from me to you. Will Donaldson, also known as Captain Fluke, is an aspiring film director who collaborates with Josh. I've been up learning since about 2006, but to websites like Newgrounds and Ebom's World, and then YouTube was just another one of those, and then that one kind of exploded. It's, it's a hobby for me. For me, it's always going to be a hobby. It's never a wage. I think when people treat it as a full-time job, they have to be very dedicated, but they also have to understand that it's a bubble, it's a tech bubble, and it will burst within about two years, three years. So they can't, the people that drop out of college are making a terrible, terrible mistake. I think that it can be a career opportunity for a short window, and as long as you're open to the idea of expanding into not just creating content. The people who make the money now are the ones that run the networks and they run other people's channels. The only person who's bought a flute team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, other than my mum. So maybe the fame isn't all it's cut out to be. The thing is, how is the fame even possible? What's so appealing about watching someone play video games? Believe it or not, the viewers are arguably more important than the content creators themselves as they're the ones who make it possible. Hundred pound from Nylon Lin Lin. Wow. We spoke to YouTube enthusiast Shannon and asked her about the subject. I suppose the appeal of watching someone else play video games. Like, what if you couldn't afford the video game? What if you watch the game is console exclusive and you don't have the console? Content creators on YouTube, they get money from how many subscribers they get in a certain time period, how many comments, how many views, but also sponsored videos, pre-roll ads, ads on the videos. I think years ago YouTube wasn't so much a career opportunity, but these days so many big marketing executives have seen the potential and now they are sort of buying into it and making it more of an industry than just a hobby. So now we know who's generating the money, but where's the money actually coming from? Every paid YouTuber is signed to a monetization network, who place adverts on the content creator's channels and earn ad revenue from companies being advertised. These networks search for existing content creators and get them to sign a contract, basically giving them rights to all their content. In return, they get money depending on how many views they get. So if you've got the talent, then find a network, suddenly loads of new opportunities will open up and you too could be earning from YouTube. Just make sure you read the contract, and make sure you know exactly what you're getting yourself into.